right, let's see. Um, the question that you had asked me was if um, you could remove hyperlinks, which the answer to that is no. But you should be able to like rearrange the pages to your liking, add or delete pages. So let me show you that real quick. Um, this is the planner. This is the uh, 2018 Bright Year Planner. And one um, easy way to do this is, is this right here. Is you can go through and suppose there's some page you don't want. So let me roll down here and find something I can delete. <laughs> let me just pick something random. Okay, February 11th and 12th. Okay, if I wanted to duplicate this page or make another one here, I would go to the little plus sign and say add page below. And then the easiest thing to do then is to go use current template. Okay, so what it did then is it copied this exact page. So when I go back here and look, there are two that are exactly the same. So if that, with that being said, if I wanted to delete any page, I would actually go here and go edit. And then select the page you want, provided you click it correctly. And then just tell it to trash it. And while it's thinking, and so that actually got rid of the extra page that we didn't need. And then you can just go here to the top and click done. And that gets rid of the extra pages that you don't want. And um, of course, if you have something that you don't want, say like I actually decided that I want this dually thing like ahead of that one. All you have to do is like grab them and move them around in the um, yeah, this little square box view thing up here. So you can like rearrange anything you want in here because of that reason. So they're not set in stone as to how they are. If you wanted to put all of your um, daily pages at the bottom and your weeklies after all the monthlies or something. I mean you can rearrange it to your liking. Whatever works for you. But they are all linked. Um, so, you know, if you click on March, you're always going to go back to March regardless. And if you click on the second week of March, it's always going to, on this tab here, it's going to always go back to this exact one. You click on the tracker tab for March, it's always going to go here. So, those are set in stone. And I don't really know how you would get rid of them. Um, but you can say, I'm on... This February 12th. Well, let's just be funny. February 14th, Valentine's Day. And I want to, say, bookmark this page for some weird reason. Um, what I would do then is go here. Oops, wrong thing. Go here. It's hard to do when you're holding it. Um, and then click on bookmarks. And uh, you can go in here and, like, you know, add one that way. But the plus sign. Or you can also go here. And click bookmark and then it'll give you a chance to name it e-a-l-e-n-t-i-n -E day and then you'll click ok and then that will give you on the bookmarks tab that will and see i have a lot of bookmarks already so you're going to, have to go back but it actually keeps it in order of the page number so whatever page number you're on is where it's going to fall. Uh, in this case, it is right here. So that's the one I just did. And so it's right there. So that's one option. Um, the bookmarks, or like I said, the thumbnail view is a lot of... Makes it pretty simple. Um, I think that's all the questions that you had at the moment. So I'm going to upload this real quick. And hopefully this will answer your questions. Um, if you have any other questions or anything just let me know um and i'll be glad to help you out with whatever i can help you with um i i do enjoy this this is a lot of fun and i thank you bye-bye